Hi, and welcome to Rapid Respiratory Review. Today we're going to be talking about BiPAP or bi-level ventilation. BiPAP is simply a trademark name, and bi-level is a type of non-invasive PPV that you're delivering. Bi-level positive airway pressure consists of an IPAP, your P-high or your P-peak, you can call it, and an EPAP, a P-low or your CPAP or your peak. The difference between the IPAP and EPAP is a pressure support. More pressure support means lungs can open more and will, will cause more oxygenation and more ventilation of the lungs. Difference of BiPAP to CPAP has CPAP has one pressure level or bi-level or BiPAP has two pressure levels which can be coordinated to the patient breathing to perform better ventilation. How it works. In patients, it has two levels which can sense an inspiratory flow. When it senses this inspiratory flow, the pressure increases from the EPAP to the IPAP in order to allow the patient to breathe easier and get more flow. When the machine senses lower flow, it reduces the pressure to the EPAP level and thus makes less work to exhale. If, however, the patient has minimal flows, the BiPAP or bi-level machine can be set with a pressure support and a rate so the patient can just simply breathe with the ventilator. So when is BiPAP or bi-level ventilation indicated? It is indicated in such as COPD, chronic bronchitis, the respiratory failure patients, so uh, pH is 7.2 and CO2 over 60 or over 55 in some cases, hypoxemia, such as in incidences as pulmonary edema, maybe a congestive heart failure, atelectasis, a collapse of the lung, from, uh, pulmonary embolism, and pneumonia. It's also sometimes ordered with hyperventilation rising, or in some odd cases, it's also used to agitate to increase BP in some patients, but I don't suggest that. So what, what you normally use BiPAP for is it, it's called hump therapy. So it's typically used to buy time so the doctor can treat ventilation problems. It, CPAP is, so you say BiPAP treats ventilation problems, so CO2, high CO2, where CPAP is more of an oxygenation problem. So you give them CPAP, it increases their mean airway pressure, and thus better oxygenation. So what are some contraindications slash complications? So if the patient's inability to protect the airway then they can't have the BiPAP on because they'll have a collapse of their airway during this. Increased secretions, they might build up or it could cause a collapse or so if the pressure support notices these secretions drop, then it'll give a high pressure and could cause burrow trauma. Any risk of vomiting, because if they have a mask on, the vomit could cause encephalation, a bolus, such as an emphyseminous patient, pneumothorax could pop your lung, hypotension, or just non-compliant. So if you're not sure, if you're making the decision, what am I going to use, BiPAP or CPAP, you're not sure what to do, CPAP, since it only helps with oxygenation, that's all it does. BiPAP can help with ventilation and oxygenation. So if you don't know and you have both, I would choose the BiPAP so that you can maintain both. How long and when do you use the BiPAP? BiPAP can be maximized, maximize the transport of O2 into the lungs and into the blood, like I said in the previous statement, with the choice. And it can be used for several hours or several days. That's all I have to say about BiPAP. Have a great day and thanks for watching.